Want to do it one time? Face this way? Sure. Alright guys, welcome back to Bone Feed. We're going to continue on with Hustle again and today we're going to do something called the Cradle, which if you've been with us before, you've seen this in other dances, so it's really helpful because you'll see this position again and again. Let's do it. Leaner's footwork for the Cradle. This is probably one of the easier footworks you can do as you dance in place the entire time, but that's kind of how leading goes in general. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm still going to rock back on my left foot, rock, step, I take a small step forward and then replace. So I start to kind of bait her in a little bit here. So I go rock, step, forward, replace. And then to let her out again, I go rock, step, forward, replace. The same thing. It's basically a rock step on each side. I go rock back, rock forward, and then rock back, rock forward. And that's the entire pattern for me. Timing, I would go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If I syncopate this, I would go and one, two, three, and one, two, three. If I do this from the side one time here, you'll see I rock back, doesn't matter which kind it is, rock, step. I start to lead this and I walk forward to kind of meet her and then step back with her. We both rock back together and then I step forward to lead her out again. So I would go and one, two, three, and one, two, Three and one, and we're on to the next basic, and here comes Lynn. All right, ladies, let's go through your footwork for the cradle. So good news is you've done both of these footworks before if you did our last video, which is our inside and outside turns, or our right and left turns. So you're going to start with your left turn, which the footwork, we go back on the right, forward left. We take a side step turning on our right foot. We're going to end about 180 degrees where we started, and we can just close the feet this time or take a small side, uh, backward step depending on where your partner ends up, and that will be on the left foot. Continuing on, we're going to exit this with the right turn. So we go rock back on the right, forward left. We're going to take a step forward on the right foot, turning to my right, and then small step back exiting. But the good news is, if you did those turn videos, literally the footwork's exactly the same. So that's good news. So again, we go back, forward, side, together, back. Forward, forward, back. If you do end up taking a small step back instead of together here, because that's where his position is, again, you're going to follow wherever your leader is, of course. With that timing, we go one, two, three, four, one two, three, four. If we do it from a slightly different direction, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With the syncopated timing, same dealio, you know the business by now. Here we go. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Key points. So, as we dance this together, we both rock backwards. I lead like I would lead an inside turn. So if you've already learned that video, and you know what an inside turn is, and the hand is exactly the same. The only difference is I don't continue to pass her. I stay right where I am and I hold on with both hands. So those are the two main differences. I don't keep dancing around her. I don't let go of either hand. I rock back, I bring this hand in, and subsequently I lower my right hand. This is just as important actually as picking up my left arm, thank you. So I rock back, I lift this up and I lower this one. This is actually almost just as clear as a lead, getting her onto this foot and it helps us roll in really, really comfortably. If I kind of start to pick up both hands and do this, she's kind of slightly confused. It's kind of in the way. She rolls in and it's really, really tight and congested. So I separate my arms. One goes up, one goes down. And it's a very, very clear and concise lead. Coming out of this now, so if we go one, two, three, four. 
We both rock step together here. We still go back in this cradle position. And now I lift up my same hand, my left hand again, as I walk forward to let her out of this position. And you can see I'm still holding off both hands the entire time. So when she's in here, we both rock back. One, two, I start to lift this hand up so she knows where she's going next. She follows the hand. Three, four, and we're done and we're here. So ladies, again, like I said, we start with the left turn, we end with the right turn, but now we're just entering our cradle position. Here I take either a small step back or close, depending on where he is. Again, I'm just ending up on his right side. I might look at him here if that makes you uncomfortable or dizzy. Of course, you don't have to, but finding your partner is always a good idea, especially if you've never, you know, danced this with anybody. So it's just good, a good practice to get used to, especially in the hustle. So if we go one, two, I stay with my partner, great. And then I'm gonna follow wherever he's leading me and find my partner on the exit. But again, not much is different here for you besides the fact that he's holding both hands. Again, find the partner, take small steps. That's kind of it. Super light hands again is, is always the key. My hands are very, very light. I pick it up over her head, she rolls in, we're side by side. I pick it up again, we roll out, and that's the pattern. We did sort of an outside turn to end this, right? So my hand got flipped again. So one interesting combination that you could do is you could do one of these cradles. I lead this outside turn at the very end, and now I lead a normal inside underarm turn like you learned in the previous video, and now you have two patterns back to back that magically fix the hand and look pretty good together. Just one more tip for the ladies, especially for these not pretzely arms, but there's a lot of arm stuff going on now that we're connected with both hands and we're turning. Just make sure that you allow him to lead you. Sometimes in the beginning, as a follower, it's difficult to be a little bit more relaxed while still maintaining energy and tone towards our partner so he's able to lead us. We're not completely spaghetti arms and we're not lifting weights here. We're just gonna have energy and lift our own arms and allow him to receive that energy. So just make sure you allow that I'm Lifting my own arms, they're not spaghetti, but I'm allowing him to lift and I'm being malleable enough for him to lead me in any position, especially when we get later on, we'll do some you know, more interesting positions or combine a lot of those different positions, getting in and out fairly quickly, especially with the syncopated version. So just go with the flow. We're gonna dance this to music and we're gonna put it with a rotating basic and even that uh, outside turn at the very end and try to combine some of these things together for you.